Can you solve this limit problem? We see that we have a sine function in the numerator and a polynomial in the denominator. So this immediately reminds us of the trigonometric limit sine x over x. As x approaches 0, this is known to be 1. Can we use our knowledge of this limit in the problem we have? We have a quadratic in the denominator, so let's try and factor it. Let's think of two integers that multiply to give negative 2 and add up to 1. These will be positive 2 and negative 1. Notice that x minus 1, the input of the sign, appears as one of the two factors in the denominator. So this is very promising. How do we get rid of this x plus 2 factor though? We can just split it as 1 over x plus 2 times the sine of x minus 1 over x minus 1. And now we can use the multiplicative property of limits to multiply the individual limits like this. The first limit is a rational function. It's very simple. It's defined at 1. So we can simply replace x by 1. So we have one third the limit of sine x minus 1 over x minus 1. This is very close to the form we know and love. All we need to do is replace x minus 1 by a new variable. Call it t. This will become the limit of sine t over t. Great. The last thing we need to do is make the limit in terms of t. It's still in terms of x. So solving for x in terms of t, we get t plus 1. We'll replace x by t plus 1. So if t plus 1 is approaching 1, this means t is approaching 0. And now it has exactly the form we know, and therefore this limit is 1. So the final answer is 1 over 3. What a beautiful result. Could you figure it out?